Hey everybody, Omar here, the Knife Sick Guy, formerly known as the Knife Shark Guy. I changed my name because there's way too many uh, Knife Shark people out there and I didn't want to be, you know, I kind of want to separate myself from the from those people. So my new name is now the Knife Sick Guy. So I got a brand new knife. I went to the Blade Gallery uh, yesterday and uh, check that place out. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's the first time I've actually been down to the Blade Gallery to check out the store. Um, and I decided to just go ahead and do some shopping and I picked up this guy uh, in this knife case here. This one is absolutely stunning when I saw this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one right out and we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, it comes in a really nice case. The gentleman that makes this knife is Willem Steenkamp. And we're going to give a, a really good close look at this one. So there you go. Sorry for the camera shaking. Still trying to find uh, other options to keep the camera from shaking. So I do apologize for that. Um... Yeah, so this is the Willem Steenkamp Hornet. And I've always wanted one of these. Um, the knife that I... I've got five knives from Willem Steenkamp now. The knife that I thought was a Hornet actually was not. And that is this knife right here. This is the Willem Steenkamp EDCTI. And it could be very easily mistaken... For a Hornet, there's very, very little uh, difference between the two. <laughs> In fact, I can't even really tell the difference unless I look very closely. Uh, if you look at the handles, the handles on the EDC TI, uh, it's a little bit more straight-laced um, and a bit wider versus the more contoured Hornet. I'm going to take this knife out of the way. I just wanted to show you this the uh, Willem Steenkamp EDCTI, so you can see how it could easily be mistaken for this knife. So, let's just get a good quick look at this guy. As you guys can see, this is a marble carbon fiber black beauty. I mean, this guy is just stunning. Marble carbon fiber on both sides. We've got a black titanium pocket clip. If you look closely, it's got some blue accents by the holes. We've got a zirconium uh, pivot ring on here, which is a nice match up against the black marble carbon fiber. And we've also got blue titanium liners and... Uh, black matching titanium backspacer to go with the pocket clip. Action on this guy is absolutely stellar. Beautifully centered. I love how the blue liners on this knife really pop. If you hold it up at the light in certain angles, it's actually purple looking, but you know. That's just titanium for you. It's got a beautiful, beautiful M390. Drop point blade that is hand rubbed. My favorite finish on a blade. It just looks really great. It looks natural. So Willem Steenkamp. We'll talk about him for a quick minute. This gentleman has been making knives for many, many years. I'm going to say he's probably been making knives for about 20 years now. Um... He's a very, very quiet knife maker. When I say quiet, I mean he knows how to use the materials around him to put a knife together in such a way that it's done with just enough flash. So it's not like over the top in many areas. Um, he's kind of a wonderful alternative to... Let's say Andre Thorburn, if you don't like Andre Thorburn's style of knife making, because we all know uh, Andre Thorburn is a legend as a knife maker, but not, maybe he's not for everybody's tastes. Uh, Willem Steenkamp may be your guy. I mean, he, he puts maybe just maybe one or two pieces of materials on his knives, maybe sometimes three, but he puts them together in such a way that it's such, it's just as powerful of, a, of an impact as if you had, 
a plethora of materials on your knife to create the same mood or the same uh, look or whatever it is you're trying to do. He just puts one or two pieces on there and does it in such a way so that the materials that he uses really make sense on the knife and really has some amazing beauty. I mean, this is a black, gorgeous looking knife. Uh, I'm going to bring out another knife that's exactly the same. But a smaller configuration. So here we go. This is the Samsung Junior Flipper. Uh, same exact knife in a smaller configuration. This one's got a Timascus pivot ring, if you take a look at it. Also, if you look at the marble carbon fiber on this one, it doesn't seem to have that laminate. This is a more of a uh, flatter marble carbon fiber as opposed to uh, the larger version. If I pulled it up to the camera, you can see there's more of a sheen to it, like a laminate over it, which makes the marble carbon fiber shine even more than it does on the junior front flipper. Uh, sorry, on the junior flipper. So let's get into the stats on this knife before I forget that. So this is an, a one-of-a-kind handmade piece. You will never see another one like this ever again. This is the only one ever made. Keep in mind, Willem Steenkamp is a knife maker who does not use CNC machining at all. This guy is strictly a handmade knife maker. The entire knife is made by hand from start to finish. And he's the only one that, that, that has his hands on the knife putting it together for you. So this is a real incredible work of art as well as great looking tool. So back to the stats. The blade length on this knife is 3.25. The cutting length is 3.3, uh, sorry, 3 inches. The whole total cutting length is three inches. The total length of the knife from head uh, to toe is 7.75 inches. Uh, the weight of the knife is five ounces. And the blade steel is CTS XHP. And we've got a heated color black zerk conium pivot ring and uh yeah the marble carbon fiber is set on an anodized titanium liners absolutely gorgeous piece and now for the fun time is this knife sharp well, why don't we find out so let's go ahead and do the paper cut test i'm going to try and do a paper cut test every time i do a, i do a new knife uh, i usually tend to forget so here we go as you guys can see, this knife is very deadly, sharp, always, everywhere. Uh, like I said, I cut my finger on this one. So, let's just go ahead and get the paper out of the way. Move the knife back up a bit. Because it's time to do some size comparisons. What about the size of the knife? How big is this guy? Why don't we compare it to the uh, Sebenza 21? One of my favorites. And definitely the start of anybody's custom knife collection as well is uh, Chris Reeve's Sebenza 21. It all starts with Chris Reeve, I'm telling you. So there it is up against the Sebenza 21. Uh, let's put it up against, uh, how about the Benchmade Anthem? As you can see, it's, uh, you know, the Anthem is a full-size knife. Again, this is sort of like more of a medium-sized knife. That's another thing is that Willem Steenkamp does not, uh, he doesn't do uh, large knives. In fact, the largest knife that guy makes is a knife that he rarely makes. It's called the Nomad Flipper, and that's, I believe, like a 3.3 inch, maybe 3.4 inch 
blade. He doesn't make it all that much. Let's go ahead and put it up against the all too familiar uh, ZT0562. There it is up against your 0562. Uh, everybody's favorite, definitely Nick Sabaz's favorite. Mine is, uh, mine's had some uh, work done to it with the Cerakote. This is the Spartaco Swish Bowie. Uh, put it up against um, an old knife from like 2007, but I really just love this one. Uh, the ZT900, uh, which is now discontinued. They don't make it anymore. So you can see it's, uh, we've got a small, medium, and a large size knife. So, And finally, for the final uh, size comparison, how about my one of my favorite carbon fiber knives, the Kershaw Bare Knuckle in M390. I know a lot of people kind of missed out on the bandwagon on this one. Uh, yeah, I I actually had two of these at one point. And I sold one of them. So there you have it, the size comparisons. Overall, I mean, as a as a night maker, like I said, William Steenkamp, he is just a stunning night maker. He makes his knives uh, without too much flash on it, but whatever flash he puts on it, hell, you could you could definitely tell that he, you know he's put some serious thought into it uh, because this is just an absolutely amazing amazing piece to have in my collection. I'm so happy I got it. Um, Table price for this knife, it might be a lot uh, out of a lot of people's price range. Uh, it is six sixty uh, for this knife. Um, <laughs> one thing I gotta say, when you get into customs, it's almost like you don't really care how much the knife costs. You just have to have it. Everybody says that's in, that's a, that's ridiculous. That's nuts. That will never happen to me. You know what? I said the same thing, and look what happened to me. You now I've got thirty four South African customs, and now I'm 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 in. There's no way I can get out of it now. So, I mean, would you with knives that look like this? I mean, this is just absolutely spectacular. I mean, I can't stop looking at it. I, I, I carried this all day today. I carried it all day yesterday. I mean, it was just, it just got me. It just got me. No other knife has gotten to me like this since uh, my Death Horn in Boo Boo, which if you guys want to check that video out, you can. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just love this knife. I just wanted to give you guys a good quick look at it. And to introduce you to William Willem Steenkamp's work, uh, you know, if you you know if you want a really good custom that you're you know you're maybe thinking about getting your first custom, and you're ready to spend some serious bucks, Willem Steenkamp's the way to go. None of his knives uh, are like way way that. I mean, this is probably as expensive as you'll you'll ever maybe uh, like right around maybe eight. I don't think I've seen his knives go like even in the eight hundred dollar range. They seem to stay right around the six hundred. I, I just haven't seen one that expensive from Willem Steenkamp. Um, so I mean, he, I'm not saying that he he may or may not be affordable to you at this point, um, but for what you're getting for the price, uh, you're always going to get something that's just stunning, uh, like this piece here. There is another uh, knife that he, that he makes that's easily mistaken for the Hornet, and that's this knife here. This is the uh, Willem Steenkamp EDCTI. Uh, <laughs> I don't really notice a big difference. I had to look really closely at it, and it's mostly from like this area down on both of these do you see a difference here it's a little bit more contour to the hand a little bit more rounded here it's a little bit more straighter uh but you know 
I don't know, but it looks like the blade shapes are the same. The pivot rings are the same. Even where the index finger goes is the same. It's just from this point on the knife down from here on down, it looks different. But, you know, it could easily be mistaken for a hornet. Uh, this is the other knife that the guy makes. And, and I don't know why... <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, I can see why it's it's named differently. Uh, also, I think maybe the, the flipper tabs are a little bit different on the knife. I'm only mentioning this in case, you know, you come across Willemstein, one of Willemstein Camp's knives and you, you're thinking you're getting a Hornet. Uh, you're not. You're probably getting an EDCTI. So if you notice, the flippers are much larger on the Hornet than it is on the EDCTI. Um, and the angle on the EDCTI is kind of off. Uh, in other words, it's not a push button like the Hornet. When you push down, you push the button on this one, uh, you have to kind of angle it at a certain way because if you don't, if you put your full index finger on this particular knife, you're going to get that. You know what I mean? You'll get that. It won't, it won't deploy all the way. You kind of have to find the tip of the flipper and then pop it open and then it's open. Whereas with the Hornet, uh, you know, you could just put, you put your full finger right there and it will pop open because the way the flipper is angled. Um, I don't know. But both of these knives are one of a kind handmade knives. You will never see another one like either one of these ever again this one's an all brown micarta um i still love this piece it's really great i've actually already used this uh, quite a bit and um, when i use my knives i actually wipe them down i mean like so that they look like they've never been used but they actually have so there you have it william steen camp's uh hornet flipper which I picked up from the Blade Gallery. Uh, I forgot to show you. This is his Certificate of Authenticity. Whoops, I made the camera shake again. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, there you go. There's his hand, his uh, signature on the Certificate of Authenticity. And it's Marble Carbon Fiber, HXP. It's a Hornet. It's just an absolutely gorgeous knife. I think this is probably the most aesthetically best-looking knife out of the knives that I own uh, from him. I'm just going to pull out real quickly the four other knives that I own from him as I close out this video. Um, let me just move this up so you guys can see. So there's the uh, Hornet. This is the EDCTI. Uh, this one is the Raiden Flipper, which is a little bit smaller looking knife. Actually, maybe I ought to do it this way. So he, all of them are in camera. Uh, man, I wish I could keep that camera from shaking. I apologize to everybody for that. A couple people have complained about it. I don't blame you. I'm working on it, guys. Be patient with me. Uh, so, yeah. So the Raiden Flipper. Uh, this one, yeah, obviously is the Junior Hornet. Same knife, different configuration. And then my last Willemstein Camp piece is the uh, Willemstein Camp Swift front flipper. The only front flipper that I own of his. And you can't see it on camera, sorry. So there you have it right there. The Swift front flipper. Willemstein Camp, as you can see, he has a variety of style of knives. Uh, again, he's a very, very quiet knife maker. When I say quiet, I mean you're not going to see a ton of flash on his knives. For those of you guys that are into South African knife makers, uh, his knives are more uh, that he, he kind of, um, he sort of makes strictly like utility knives, um, you know, where you can see that his work is uh, seen you know, he kind of makes it like a 50-50 experience. It's a knife, but if you look really well, it's also a piece of artwork. And I, that's what I like about William Steen Camp. He's able to walk that line of at one point, it's just a knife, and then boom, he hits you with all this eye candy, which is actually, again, not a lot of eye candy, just enough to get your attention. I mean, this is actually 
the Raiden Flipper is actually one of his knives that uh, it's got a lot of stuff on it, which kind of surprised me, which is probably also why I had to get it. He also sometimes occasionally will crown a knife. You know what I mean? Where it's rounded on the top. He also did that with the uh, Swift Front Flipper. This one is sort of semi crowned because you get to the point to this particular point then it's flat uh that's something that he does but on the uh swift front flipper we've got a crowned all the way to the end which is kind of nice uh his detents on his knife are mostly medium to soft he's not a hard detent guy uh most of his knives are yeah they're medium detents which is kind of nice. I think medium is probably the best. Um, so, yeah. So, there you go. Willem Steenkamp. This is Omar, the knife sick guy. Coming back at you with the latest custom from Willem Steenkamp. I also wanted to share Willem Steenkamp's work with you here on camera. In case you guys are thinking about getting your first South African knife. Uh, this guy is a perfect place to start. Uh, he, he's, he makes really beautiful knives, and, uh, you're, you're just not going to, uh, be disappointed. His fit and his finish on all of his knives are excellent. There's no blade play. They're always perfectly centered. Uh, just excellent, excellent work throughout. I have never had a problem with any of the five knives you see here. When I bought each one of these knives, they were just perfect, which tells you one thing. This guy is serious about attention to detail and will not have a knife leave his shop unless it's in the in perfect condition. That's a lot. That's that's saying a lot for a man's work. Uh, this is Omar, the knife shark guy, introducing you guys to Willem Steenkamp. Definitely one of my favorites in my South African knife collection. We can see that because I've got five of them here. I'm probably going to get a sixth one. Who knows? I mean, it's... You know, I just love the way he does his knives. That's all. That's all I have to say. He he, he is an excellent, excellent knife worker, a knife maker, far none. Really hard to actually find on Instagram, but he is on Instagram. I've never spoken to the guy, and yet I've got five knives right here on the table. Uh, and that's saying something, so. Omar, the knife sick guy, giving you an introduction to Willem Steenkamp, and I hope uh, you may find one of these guys in your collection one day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.